Today we're going to talk about a novel, minimally invasive treatment for Achilles tendinopathy. Previously, the only available treatments were open, resulting in longer recovery times for patients. Tenjet, developed by Hydrocision, utilizes high-velocity saline that preferentially debrides diseased tendon tissue. This has been a game changer for my practice, resulting in faster recovery times for patients and allowing them to get back to their activity sooner. The whole procedure takes about 15 minutes and can be done in the outpatient setting. Prior to the procedure, the patient is prepped and draped in a sterile fashion. I have placed the patient in this position, which is face down on the exam table, in order to more easily access the Achilles tendon. The procedure is performed under ultrasound guidance to visualize both the pathologic tissue as well as the positioning of the TenJet device. A layer of ultrasound gel is applied to the probe below as well as on top of the cover to increase the transmission of sound waves and improve visibility. As I scan the tendon with the ultrasound, I can visualize the pathology which appears as black or hypochoic on the ultrasound device. As you can see, this patient has a black or hypochoic area on the inferior portion of the Achilles where it attaches onto the calcaneus. To mark the location of my approach, I use a sterile marking pen. I approach the Achilles laterally rather than mid-substance for ease of access. To ensure that the patient has minimal discomfort during the procedure, a local anesthetic is administered to the affected area. It is important to do a superficial skin wheel over a wide area. Then using the ultrasound guidance, I direct the anesthetic toward the insertion of the Achilles tendon on the calcaneus. Using an 11-blade scalpel, I make a stab incision in order to create a pathway for the TenJet device down to the insertion of the Achilles. Once I have created this pathway with the 11-blade scalpel, I can guide the TenJet device toward the pathology while visualizing it under ultrasound. When the device is in the proper position, I depress the foot pedal. This delivers a high velocity stream of saline to debride and evacuate the diseased tissue from the site. By moving the device in an axial motion, I can reach and debride all the damaged and pain inducing tissue. An advantage of TenJet's 3 inch working needle is that, if necessary, I am able to reach the medial aspect of the Achilles through one incision without the need to make additional incisions or going midline through the Achilles. This lessens the post-operative pain for the patient. As I maneuver the device in this axial plane, there is a tactile component. Initially, the diseased tissue creates some resistance, but as I continue to motion the device back and forth, you can feel a decrease in the resistance. As you can see on ultrasound, we are seeing less hypochoic or black tissue, which means that the diseased damaged tissue is being evacuated by the device. Since the procedure is performed through a stab incision, there is no need for sutures. Steri strips are placed over the incision and covered with a tegaderm. The patient is able to be discharged from the procedure suite and return home. As you can see, this is a quick and simple procedure. Post-operative care can include a walking boot, physical therapy, but many patients experience relief within the first two weeks of the post-operative period. 